guys cool with the blues, so it's quiche time, you know? Not Lakeisha. Lakeisha's on video, but man, this cabinet, I got a little problem with this spinach. Some I'm going to use. Some I'm going to use on the uh, raw, just like the garnish the top of it. Okay. Oh, look. So I got a little bit of nutmeg. A little bit of nutmeg on your spinach. That's how we make a cream spinach. Uh, so with a little nutmeg. But uh, some pepper. That's about as much as we want to get wilted down. And just going to set that on the back burner. And uh, let it cool down. So uh, let's see. We'll get some eggs. Okay, doke. So I'm going to show you a little something uh, interesting here. I think you'll find it interesting anyway. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate a few of the eggs. Uh, egg whites. So I'm going to whip the egg whites. Size of this one. Wow. Oh, double yoker. That was my dad's favorite. Look. Look, double yolk. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to divulge the uh, secret to where they're at because... Sh shape of that one. Huh? Looks like Humpty Dumpty. And um, so I haven't been able to really get any eggs all winter because they're, uh, they're, they're molt and uh, they take it easy. Flip these up a little bit. Get some air whipped into it. So it kind of make like a little bit of a souffle effect, you know. So then I'm going to mix in, uh, I'm not going to, the kind of a folding effect. Okay. We're really making two of these uh, quiche. One thing is, I really don't usually like these, like in grocery stores. But you know what's beautiful about this? You can refill. It's got a, it's got a twist top. Most of them they make them so you can't even refill them. But this nice Himalayan salt refill, we use it a lot. Um, some pepper. See, I like to get jiggy with it here. Live on the edge. Lift that top. Okay. And then, um, yeah. So then what I'm going to do here. Some Parmesan. So, you know, again, be careful with the salt. See that folding effect they get? Definitely needs more salt. So, we get us a little sea salt. Don't forget, you know, we salted, seasoned the spinach. So, we're gonna pull that uh, the pie crust out of the oven. This is already started bubbling up a little bit. And uh, so what I'm gonna do first, I have a blend. I have a blend of some mozzarella, provolone that we do on my pizza blend. And uh, that's the pizza blend we use.
ね。I'm gonna put some more cheese. Right. I'm not sure if I get it. Actually, he licked that. He licked that. Wish just like I used to do as a kid. spinach on top. That was my intention. You could have done this all straight from raw spinach too, but I find that it kind of kind of makes the crust makes it uh, inside a little watery. Too much on top. Okay. A little bit of a nutmeg. And um, yeah, sometimes I was going to beat an egg and try to go around the edge with it. I don't think we have a pastry brush here right now. But that's it there. In the oven. In the oven she goes. And uh, I have it up to 350. Ooh. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna set it in there. I'm gonna put it on the bottom, closer to the bottom. Maybe that heat'll uh, cook that crust from the bottom a little bit more. And uh, we're at 350, but I'm gonna drop it down. I'm gonna drop it down to uh, I'm gonna drop it down to 300 and slow bake it. And we'll be right back. So, you no know, check. Just like a cake, you go right in the center, and it comes out clean. That's where the point of the the pie crust. You don't want to go on. Yeah, nice and clean. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to let it go because everything's nice, you know. So, I'm going to let it set up. Just make sure that crust cooks a little bit more on top of this uh, cast iron uh, skillet or pie, pie pan. You know, but I'm anxious to put a dough in that and try it out, see how it works. I think it's going to be great. Uh, real heavy duty. I don't know if it's a lodge or super heavy. But that's it, uh, spinach quiche. Use any kind of cheese you want in it. Quiche, quiche Lorraine. That's the quiche on the video camera. But uh, Axel, come over here. Come over here. You good boy? Huh? Yeah, he sure is. You know why? Because he knows he's going to get a taste. Right? Right, buddy? Huh? Can't cook when you're down in the restaurant, but we cook when you're here. Go eat your ball. Give me that. Give it to me over here. Bring it over here. Go get it. No, go get it. Go get it. Uh, <laughs> Dang, guys, come with the blues here. Check out uh, our Patreon page. It's uh, Patreon uh, slash forward slash Cook with the Blues. And uh, we're uh, become a member of 
uh, you know, Daddy Jack's Cooking with the Blues. Uh, we're going to be doing a blog, you know, a cookbook blog, uh, exclusive question and answer, Q&As, uh, live video streams, uh, exclusive previews to videos, new upload videos, uh, some merchandise. One chef, you know, was saying, you know, it's, you know, he's in the peak of his career, you know, his 30s and... I said, hey, just hold in there because, you know, when it's all over, there's going to be good opportunities. You have good skills. But in the meantime, you know, play music, get outside, enjoy the fresh air, garden, plant a garden, you know, self-sustaining. Uh, get out there, <clears throat> help somebody, you know, uh, reach out, talk to your loved ones and friends you haven't talked to in a long time. Get off of the TV, you know, just just hit the, hit the TV for the news and headlines and Catch up, you know, be aware of what's going on. But at the, at the same time, live your life. Dad Jack's going to blues. Peace.